But today what we're going to do is something I've been looking forward to. We are going to unbox the A500 Mini. Now I am quite aware that this has already been done to death on YouTube, but this one has been sitting on my uh, bookshelf for a couple of weeks now. And I just have not had the opportunity to get this thing open and check it out. So just quickly, a little bit about my history with the Amiga. My first computer, I think you all know, was the VIC-20. And then I skipped the C64, went right to the 128 because of course it had the C64 mode, which is probably why I'm really digging the Mega 65 because you've got the Mega or the C65 mode and the C64 mode. It really harkens back to that 128. So the C128, I really used it a lot uh, for gaming because it had that C64 mode. But then I started to dabble into productivity. As I got further along into my college studies, I thought, hey, I can really use this computer. So I started using GEOS to do things like uh, physics, uh, lab manuals, write my term papers, all those types of things. And then I wanted to upgrade to the Amiga 500 because it had better software, had better productivity software. The Amiga 500 for me was really about productivity. Yeah, I had a few games. As a matter of fact, one of the games that's on here today, the F-16 uh, fighter pilot that we're going to play first in honor of Top Gun, we'll talk about that later, is uh, one of the ones that I used to play. But primarily, I used it for word processing uh, reports and desktop publishing back in the day. So uh, today, when we look at this little guy right here, we're really going to be focused on the games because that, that's all that's included. Now, that's kind of my experience with the Amiga 500. So let's go ahead and drop down to our camera. Now, I've moved the camera a little bit closer. We're here. You'll notice here, I do have the C64 Mini. I thought we really needed the C64 Mini out here to compare to the A500 Mini, just to, uh, since they're, they're from the same, obviously, same company. Uh, and the company is, what is their name? Retro Games. I think I go by Retro Games Limited. So I did pull that out and uh, have actually been playing with that. I updated it yesterday and played around a little bit with some of the games and just tried to reacquaint myself. I also have the VIC-20. So instead of this right here in the larger maxi form factor, I got the VIC-20, which I think uh, was only available really briefly in the United States. Um, I, I snuck up on it. It was available for a couple of days. I ordered, got it, got here, and I just love that I have the VIC-20 Maxi. And I've covered that in a lot of other videos, so you can check it out. All right, this is a USB drive because I'm going to assume that uh, we are going to need to upgrade this when we take it out of the box. Uh, it's not going to come with the latest firmware, and the latest firmware includes some improvements. So let's go ahead and start our unboxing. To get this thing going, I do know I have to open it up. And uh, again, Misloff, thank you for your contribution to the channel. Uh, it, he not only sends super chats, he sends he sends things for me so that I can actually unbox. So that was very nice of him to do that. So I'm still thanking him. By the way. Mislav is an executive producer for the uh, my channel, so thank you, Mislav, for being that. And what that means is, if you go to buy me a coffee and you join at the uh, Mega 65 or Commodore 128 levels, you become either a producer or an executive producer. You get extra titling stuff. And uh, I've not mentioned this before, but I'm going to mention it here. Ms. Love, you'll appreciate this. Um, uh, one of the things that I'm doing for my executive producers is, because Christmas... Uh, Commodore fans and Christmas is always something special. We, uh, the lovely account and I are working on an idea for a little, your, your annual, if you look in, in the things that you get when you're a member, especially at the executive producer level, there's an annual gift. So it's going to be an annual holiday gift. So that will be coming your way, Miss Loft. So thank you uh, for your continued support. So be on the lookout for that. I got some ideas too. And it's not going to, I think they're going to be fun. So those of you that are executive producers, if you're watching this live or watching this later, uh, know that uh, we're getting close to where I have to start planning on that because some of these things have to be shipped overseas. So here is our the A500 Mini by Retro Games. Let's take a look at the outside of the box here. And uh, so here's the outside of the box here. Uh, we can see some information here, just the basic technical information, retrogames.biz. Cloanto does own the ROMs uh, for the C64 and the Amiga. So this is an officially sanctioned product. I'm glad that they went through that process because I do think that's important. And also Cloanto is helping the Mega 65 team keep their uh, the, the, the Mega 65 legal as well. So really appreciate that they're involved in the community. Here's the contents. This is what we're going to expect when we get inside right here. We get the A500 Mini, two button. I'm really excited about this mouse. Uh, 
I also want to try this mouse with a mouster on the Mega 65. Uh, that'll probably be a short video in itself, would be my guess. Uh, the eight button USB gamepad, which is uh, based on the Amiga CD32, I believe loosely based is what I'm learning. A USB-C power supply cable, but not power supply. Luckily, uh, over here, I do have a place where we'll be able to plug that in, an HDMI cable, and I do have an HDMI cable ready to roll there. Uh, we got some other stuff down here. We don't really care about that. You need a TV or a monitor with HDMI. Uh, here's the, the information about the voltage you need. Uh, and then over here, we have the features and emulates the Amiga 500, 600, and 1200. And there are settings, especially with the newer firmware, that you can make those changes. Save and resume game functions. Boy, what we have loved to have had that back in the 80s. That would have been really great. We also have uh, via USB, add your own games. That's uh, with the firmware update. Uh, we probably will not get to that today because we're not gonna have a lot of time for that. But uh, in a future video, I might play around with that. Uh, it is 720p in 50 or 60 hertz. I'm reading, though, that we want to select 50 hertz because most of the games are European-based, so we'll do that. Multiple scanning options and one of those uh, goofy little CRT fillers if you feel like you need an LCD and you want it to look like it's uh, on a CRT, so that's available for you. Then on the back, these are the games that are included, and you'll see Another World, Zool, we'll look at some of those. We probably uh, will not get to all of them today. We'll play a couple of them that I'm interested in. Uh, this one, F-16 Combat Pilot, we have to do today because we've seen Top Gun Maverick, and we just have to get in a flight simulator before we get out of here. I feel the need, the need for speed. Ow! And then uh, you'll notice WHD Load, load your own WHD Load package games via USB. All right, while we're on the back, we're going to go ahead and open this up. We'll flip it over, and you'll see it's just a little flip right here. And then we're going to pull this up right here, and uh, there we go. There is the box right there with the A500 Mini. Now, just uh, for size comparison quickly, there it looks like they're almost identical width. Look at that. I don't know if the original C64 and the Amiga 500 were the same size and width. Let's go ahead and remove the top here. Make sure you're still seeing that. So here's our little plastic top. Here it is. This is, wow, this is really nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and set this aside for now. We'll come back to this. Let's see what else we have in the box. Uh, we do have our quick guide here. Uh, that's one of the things I do appreciate about retro games. They throw in these nice little guides. Uh, you should also know too, though, that they have more extensive documentation on their website. So this is the website, uh, and uh, you'll notice they have uh, information about the A500 Mini. Now this is a support page right here. This is, and I'll put all this in the video description. I'm also planning a companion blog post that will have most of this information. But you'll notice we have the user's manual, additional information about uh, WHD load package, I love the frequently asked questions. Here's how we can update the firmware. I have already downloaded that to a USB drive, so that'll save us some time. And then one of the things I wasn't aware is there are already including bonus USB game packs. So you can click on that, and you'll see there's already a free game that's available that you can add via WHD load, which I love that. It'd be interesting to see how many of those they do, or if they decide to potentially branch out into a do, do we start giving some kickback to some folks who are making some of these games? I wouldn't be opposed to that. I don't want them to get out of control. We also have our manuals page here. So here's that manual. I assume that that's the same manual here. Uh, I have not looked at it. And then here's a list of all the games. And we're going to leave this up right now. And this gives you information about each game. There's also, here's the, the information about the bonus game. It's called Citadel. Uh, so that's one that's not included out of the box, but you can download it and add it via WHD load. So that is pretty cool. So again, here's the manual right here. Uh, let's go ahead and let me pop that back over here so that you can see it. And uh, you see it has, uh, oh, we want to make sure we uh, avoid repetitive motion injuries. So we've got the setting up here. I think we can figure out all this. I don't think we're going to need this today. Let's see what we have underneath the box here. Now here we get into the good stuff. Now I've been really excited about this. Uh, we are going to start with the game controller. I really like the way this is all boxed up nicely. They could have just dropped it into a tray. Uh, and I'm, This makes me want to keep this box for sure. Let me go ahead and put my picture and picture back on. And let me go ahead and pull this out. So here is a couple of cables right here. And we'll place that over here. Looks like the first cable we have is our power cable. And let me just go ahead and 
And this is, if I uh, remember right, I'm really excited about this. This one is finally USB-C. So that is great that they uh, finally upgraded to USB-C because the this one is uh, micro USB, which that's always a pain. So that's really nice to have. And this is really a much longer cable than what came with this originally too. So that is nice. So there's our cable. We're gonna set that aside with the A500 mini. Here's the controller. Now I am reading mixed things about the controller uh, online. People tend to like it uh, and they either like it or they hate it. I think most people like it because it harkens back to the CD32. It is a little bit different, it's a little shorter. Uh, and I believe the other one, you can check pictures. I, don't, I do not have one. I never had a CD32. It's a little bit wider. So this has been uh, modified a little bit for a more modern audience is what I'm hearing. So that's pretty cool right there. Let's see what else we get. Now here's the tank mouse, we know that. Let me go ahead and close this. And uh, it is well packaged, I will say this. I really do appreciate that they spend some quality time doing nice packaging. Uh, so that's really nice. So here is the mouse. Now my understanding is this is about three quarters the size of a regular tank mouse. And unfortunately, I do not have one because they are very, very hard to find. Now this is interesting. Here's a, oh, it even, I didn't realize it even comes with an HDMI cable. I don't think I was aware that it, I, do, I don't need it today, but check this out guys. It is beige colored too. It matches the color of all the other cables. That is really a nice touch. Um, very nice. I don't need it, but great, great to have it. So I'm looking forward to that. Here is the tank mouse. All right, so let's go back here. And uh, here is our camera. Let's look at a few of these things. Here, here's the, again, the A500 mini next to the C64 mini. Uh, again, just like this, these keyboards don't work. So hopefully we'll see a maxi for this. So we'll go ahead and set this aside. Oh, I should mention one of the other things that uh, the new firmware just did is it did add support on the A500 mini for the C64 joystick. So it's kind of why I, we probably won't have time today to, to test it out, but I did want you all to know that in case you're looking for that. So let me go ahead and here is our tank mouse right here. You know, I need a, I need a director. I need somebody who does this stuff for me while I'm doing this. Uh, let me go ahead and move this. There we go. Uh, so we haven't looked at this. Let's go ahead and take a look at the mini right here. It's just beautiful. I mean, man, it just feels like a mini version. I guess it should feel like a mini version of the Amiga 500. Check it out. Now here's the ports. We have our, this is the same button that we had on here. Just a little different sound because of the case. Here's our USB-C. Here's our HDMI. We do have three USB ports. And then we have this area right here that does absolutely nothing. I wish they could have figured out something on that. And you know, what might have been nice is if they'd made at least the floppy disk, maybe the power button instead of back here. Maybe uh, instead of using a USB uh, drive, maybe if they'd made that a micro, US, uh, micro SD slot, that could have been kind of cool. Uh, there are numbers. So I am serial number 48,523. Wow, there are several of these out there then. Uh, so that's good. Uh, 2022. It's nice. That's a nice, nice label on the back. I like the extra color on it. And of course, you got your warning. He's got some uh, vents here for some heat. I can't imagine this thing's going to put off too much heat, but we'll check that out too. All right. So we'll go ahead and set that up. Let's go ahead and get some power on this guy. Uh, now, I do have a HDMI cable sitting back here. So let's go ahead and plug that in right here. This one is not upside down. It's upside down on the other one. So they've went ahead and got that corrected, which is nice, because that was always a pain that it was upside down on the other ones. Uh, I do have the USB. Let's see if the USB is the right side up too. Ah, they fixed that too. That is excellent because it used to be that was upside down too, which was a pain in the neck. So we're not gonna put, plug that in just yet for the firmware update. Uh, and then let's get our power here. Now this is why I love USB-C. It doesn't matter, does it? We just plug it in, plug and play. There we go. So we'll go ahead and plug that into here. All right, and then I've got this USB power port right over here. I'm just gonna plug that into and get rid of some of these cables. Uh, oh, I got it. I, um, we, we wanna see it uh, turn on for the very first time. I got a special screen for you all. Check this out, you ready? Here, hang on. How about that? That's our, uh, our, our super source screen. So when I plug it in and turn it on, it should show up right there. Let's see, let me go ahead and move this. We'll go ahead and plug in the controller and then the mouse on the other side right here. 
again glad that those are actually the right way okay so what we have now is a gaggle of wires we have the mouse oh that sounds nice oh by the way this is not a roller ball this is an optical mouse uh, it does slide pretty nicely and then we've got this ready to go so occasionally I'll bounce back to this view so we can see what's going on all right let's see if we get some video out of this thing I'm going to turn it on got power there we go. all right sound hopefully you all can hear the sound let me know if you heard that little buzz right there there we go look at that all right the a500 is going now I've set this uh, super source screen up or this this screen um, based on I had the C64 mini set up so we are going to get a four by three kind of aspect ratio but I think there are some menus on this that actually spread out to HD so we'll see that because it says it's 720 All right, we are in. So now let's see if, okay, so the mouse isn't working, but let's see if the, there we go. So we are going to, of course, uh, let me show you what I'm doing here. I'm just moving up and down using this controller right here, right? Okay, so let me go back to my screen here. And uh, we're going to choose English. Uh, for those of you in Germany, Italy, Spain, and Poland and France, uh, sorry, this is the one we're choosing. So which button do I hit? It says A to select, which is the red button. Okay, got it. All right, then we hit B for next. And again, this is what I'm doing here. This is the A and then this is the B right here. All right, so we'll do B for next. I love the sound. Okay, now this is where most people have said choose 50 hertz. This is the advantage of, um, of doing this later because everybody gets to work out the kinks. And they say that because most of the games are designed for the European market. So we're gonna go ahead and choose 50 Hertz. I love the little pops. So we'll go ahead and select that. Uh, and then it says run a test with the green, so we'll do that. That little bar you see at the bottom is my capture card. That is not what you're seeing. So it looks like uh, looks like everything looks good. So we hit the, the Y to accept, so we got it. And I can get rid of that. There's the music. Right there. And I am going to go headphones so that I can hear what's going on. And I'm going to bring that down a little bit. That's a little loud. So it's, it's kind of stretched out a little bit. I'm going to go to the menu here. We're going to choose options. And uh, I want to go to display options. Maybe I'll go to display options. There we go. And uh, enable CRT, Im enable image smoothing. I've heard that that's probably best to turn off. So we're going to go ahead and turn that off. And I'm gonna go up here, it is on screen fit, but it is not filling the screen. I thought that the menu would actually go 720 and fit. So we'll go ahead and leave it to screen fit. We'll select that. Uh, let me go ahead and close this. Gotta get used to these. Here's our systems options. Mouse sensitivity, music volume, power LED. Hey, let's, uh, let's go ahead and turn that on. Uh, and that's supposed to mimic um, the, the behavior of the Amiga. So if it's loading software, it flashes, which is going to be cool. Now we'll probably go ahead and upgrade it first. Uh, legal notices we don't need and that we don't need. Where was the firmware upgrade? Was that here? There's shutdown device, advanced options, system. Oh, there we go. Okay. So there is a, yeah, we're on 1.0.0. So we definitely want to upgrade. So let's go ahead and let's do that next.
shall we play a game as they said in war games let's go ahead and close this and the one i want to play and I, I i know i'm going to stink at this but i will say f16 was one of the few games that i had on the amiga 500 back in the day so i'm i'm kind of excited about this i remember back in the day spending hours flying this thing um and i remember not ever really being good at it uh so here we go. Let's see uh, again in, in homage to Top Gun Maverick. We're going to play this game. Now, I get it. This is Air Force, Top Gun's Navy and, and Marines. I understand, but this is all we have. Now, I did some research, too. I don't believe there was a Top Gun version uh, available for the Mega 60 or for the Mega 65. Hopefully, there'll be a Top Gun version for the Mega 65. But for the A500, I know Ocean had a wonderful Top Gun game for the C64, but I don't think that was ever available on uh, this particular device, uh, the Amiga. So let me know if you know that. And uh, let's see if we can uh, figure out how to play this game. Now, I do not remember what to do, and uh, we've only got this controller right here. Let's see if we can figure out how to fly this thing. So, yeah, see, this is painful. You gotta have a keyboard with some of this stuff. Uh, da, 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 there it is, thank you. There we go. I was right, it is plus and minus. All right, well, let's just let's just kill the afterburners here and see if we can get this guy airborne. There we go. Thank you for that. Let's get up to speed here. And we're not going to be changing speed, that's for sure. Hey, check us out. We are airborne, gentlemen. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with it. Don't call us Shirley. Thanks, Neil. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Next, uh, trigger up for thrust. Trigger up? What trigger up? Uh, you made me proper. <laughs> All right. So uh, trigger up. Yeah, none of none of the, none of this trigger up stuff is working. I am I am just constantly accelerating here. Let me see if I can stabilize here. Um, wheels back. Uh, wheels, wheels. Yeah, I need wheels. Uh, I think that's is that B. Nope. I think I just blew my wheels off. Anyway, uh, let me go back here. All right, so let's just see what some of these buttons do. At least we got airborne. You know, that was the goal. The goal was shoulder button. Yeah, so I'm trying to shoulder button. These, these shoulder buttons are not doing anything. Can I strafe anything? Surely we can shoot something. Hell, we can't even shoot anything. Uh, oh, wait, there's my reticle change. Uh, Oh, there we go. Now, I should not just be shooting randomly, I know, but let's see what that looks like. There you go. All right. Whoa. You all are going to be, or I am going to be, extremely nauseous by the time we get out of here. Oh, 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 I'm going down, folks. I think I am going, it's going to be tough to land without wheels. Oh, d tell me about it. Oh, I and I cannot pull out of this. There we go. There we go. This controller is a little... Oh, there we go. There, there, ah, 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 ah. Come on back. There we go. Uh, yep. Oh, this is difficult. All right. So there is a mission here, and I think we are just playing right now. All right. So there is uh, F-18 fighter pilot combat, whatever it is. And uh, I think I'm going to play around with this. I can just tell I'm going to have a lot of fun. Hey, you guys want to see what that looks like full screen? There you go. You don't need to see me, right? Uh, I think he should be okay as long as his gear is down, uh, but eject may be more useful. I think eject is the way to go. Uh, I don't even know how to get out of here. So here's what we're going to do. Since, since we've got some things, I am going to restart this guy. Um, let me go home. There we go. Hey, that's, that's fast. you got to love that. Uh, now, there is some information about the game right there. That's kind of nice. Oh, look, you can even, it looks like you can even go back. Oh, that's kind of cool. Look at that. You can go back to the game or you can save your state. That's pretty nice. I like that. Are you using the mouse as your flight stick? I am not, Neil. Can I use the mouse as my flight stick? I don't think that was working. Uh, can I go back in there maybe? Let's see if we can go back. Well, I, let's see. Oh, that's interesting. I, I don't know. Can I jump back in? Yeah, it starts over. So let me, uh, yeah, the mouse, you know, that's interesting. Could I use the mouse? Oh, gee, now I've got to come back down here and get airborne again. So let me go ahead. Now that we know how to do that.
Yes, the mouse does work as... Oh, look at that. Let me go and pull back here before I... Yeah, I just I just crashed. <laughs> All right, so good to know. So thank you for that, uh, Neil. I will work... Uh, I need to play some more on that. Let me go ahead and come back. I just crashed, so that was painful. So there you go. You got your air brakes, your pitch down. Oh, all right, there we go. And does anybody see... So air brakes, but I don't see... Um, yeah, I don't see thrusters. Uh, so that's not good. So anyway, I am out of time, folks. I'm sorry. I've got to uh, have a prior engagement. I need to get taken care of. I'm running seven minutes late. I want to thank you all again for joining me today as we take a look at this gaggle of wires that is the a500 mini the video description right now has some links in there if you want to jump in there if you need to get yourself a the uh, uh, a500 mini uh, the mouse is available down there usb drive some all, all the things that you need are available also be sure to check out my blog at retrocombs.com or stephencombs.com both of them work uh, and check out all the content I have on the Mega 65, the Plus 4, uh, the Commodore 128. And uh, I did a smaller series on just handheld gaming stuff, too, that was kind of fun. Not great stuff, but it's kind of there. But at this time, Retrocombs out.